very much. We're moving into the second part of our panel. I would like to call on clinical therapist for political prisoners and founder of House of Iran, Azadeh Afsahi, uh, to give her assessment. Thank you, everyone. It's an honor to be here. The human body has limitations, but the human spirit is boundless, and no amount of suppression can contain it. The spirit of Iranians has filled the street, the prison, and today it has filled this panel, a panel that embodies diversity, inclusion, and courage, that reflects the reality of Iran's colorful society. Individuals with diverse perspectives unite for this cause and in our belief in human rights and freedom of expression. This is how we envision the future of Iran, not through oppression, but by actively promoting liberty, right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Azadeh Afsahi, and as a clinical therapist, I've been treating many of the victims of crime against humanity issued in the FFMI report earlier today. The glimpse of hope that the finding of the report has provided the survivors is an element of the healing that has been missing in their therapeutic journey. One of the most challenging experiences of my professional career was when an Iranian refugee residing in Turkey publicly tweeted his suicide note. Upon contact and after spending six hours on the phone, he decided to end his life by ingesting a cyanide pill. I can still hear his last breath as I was trying to convince him to accept help. I still wonder if I could have done or said something differently. I cannot bring him back to life, but I wish he was still alive to see that there is justice and the world is listening. The Iranian New Year, No Ruz, is approaching, which means new day, as we are embarking towards healing and justice thanks to the report. The report that show a light at the end of the tunnel for so many survivors, especially for the Iranian people who have suffered at the hands of the Islamic Republic for the past 45 years. When the report was published that the Islamic Republic of Iran has been committed crimes against humanity, I knew the former political prisoners the victims of torture, the peaceful protesters, and many more survivors that have been privileged to treat are finally seeing the light for change, feeling the hope for justice and accountability. Keeping the Islamic Republic accountable is the acknowledgement of the pain and suffering that the survivors have endured. It's basically saying, I see you, I hear you, I acknowledge you. Without this validation, the survivors have struggled to recognize and accept their reality, their reality that's faced with trauma, disappointment, and pain. Many of my patients that were in solitary confinement shared that they wish was for a security guard to walk into their cell and start beating them, as this was the only way they could be certain that they are alive. One of the only few lucky survivors survive these inhumane conditions. And I use the word lucky very loosely because what is lucky about their new reality that is now filled with anxiety, depression, PTSD, chronic pain, functional limitation, and suicidal ideation? Maybe I could somehow justify this treatment was respond to a murderous crime. But I cannot fathom that the scar that these survivors are living is merely the price of a peaceful protest. Let's fuel the hope that started with the publication of this report and continue to advocate on the oppressed, on the oppressed people in Iran. In the word of Thomas Jefferson, when injustice become law, resistance becomes duty. Thank you for the fact-finding mission for playing a role in the healing of the Iranian survivors. Now it's up to us to convert the FFMI into actions. Thank you.